All right, welcome everyone to our very first podcast. Today we are going to be interviewing Alan Nottachu, um, who I met through Twitter. Um, I've had a chance to get to know him a little bit, um, and so I wanted to introduce him to all of you so you can get to know him too. So Alan, I'll pass it to you. Why don't you tell everyone a little bit about yourself? Hi everybody, my name is Alan Nottachu, and I am from Madison, Wisconsin. I am a technology training coordinator with the Center for Excellence in Teaching and Learning at Madison College, Madison, Wisconsin. I'm originally from New Mexico, so I came up here after I got married to my wife, and we've been here for the last 10 years, and I've been doing L&D for the last 10 years. Excellent, excellent. And what got you into L&D? Was it kind of, you know, a lot of us are, are here by accident, um, and some of training, so uh, you know, I didn't got here on purpose. So, what, what's your story? I was more the accidental type. I went to school for creative writing. I have a bachelor's in fine art and creative writing, and on that path, I was trying to become a filmmaker. I was trying to become an artist, but whenever I pursue those endeavors, it would be time consuming. It would be all consuming. So I wasn't able to leave my work at work. It would be with me all the time. It would be always on my mind. But as I was going through college and as I was going through those career paths trying to test the waters, I found that I really liked teaching. I always found myself helping other people, always found myself working in workshops, facilitating workshops, but I never thought that would be a career option for me. Then we moved up here to Wisconsin and found out that Apple was opening up a store here and I applied to become a creative which is more of a personal tech trainer for Apple products. I was with Apple for two years, and then I found Madison Area Technical College, Madison College, and I've been here since. Excellent, excellent. That, that sounds great. It's funny how, you know, we plan one thing for our lives, and then, you know, there's it turns out that there was another plan. Um, but, you know, it sounds like, you know, you, um, similar to me, are very happy where you've landed, so that's, that's, that's really good. Um, mm -hmm. What is your topic to teach on? Ooh, um, because of my filmmaking background, my video making background, it's definitely editing video, mobile video production. I do a little audio production, podcasting um, assistance with the faculty and staff here. But it's usually more the creative things. I do help our faculty if they have questions about our LMS Blackboard or with our staff who want to use PowerPoint. I do answer a lot of those questions, but it's more the creative side of LND that I really excel at. So what would you say is your specialty? Breaking stuff. Whenever there's a new uh, product, uh, new something for us to demo here at the college, I'm usually on that demo team, and my goal is to try to break it and try to figure out sure. how to use it, and if I break it, how to recover from that. Having worked in a few different industries, um, you know, that role is very important. Um, you know, when, whether it's a, uh, a project plan that someone's trying to get support for, or it's a course or some sort of technology that someone's built um, that they're going to be putting out there, the role of the person who breaks it is very important because, you know, it teaches us where the weaknesses are and where the fixes need to be made. So that's mm -hmm. very important. And you have that talent because I always wonder, you know, what does that person look like? So now now I know. <laughs> and for those of you uh, that are just listening, you can't see his face, but I could potentially post a picture of him so you could see. <laughs> so, so, um, where do you want to go from here? Um, do you want to become, you know, a full-time teacher, or do you want to stay in the the, the back-end support end of things? I do like uh, my role here. I want to become more of an instructional designer uh, than a, mm -hmm. uh, just a plain tech trainer, because with the role of instructional designer, I'll actually help more. I'll be able to help our faculty more with the curriculum, with transitioning from face-to-face -face class teaching to online to hybrid, be able to do more with our distance education tool, telepresence, and just be able to get more into the nitty-gritty details of what our faculty go, uh, what our faculty do. Sure, sure. And you know, a lot of um, a lot of schools now are starting to have someone that's in your role that's kind of assisting the faculty, you know, who may have the PhDs or maybe the experts in a specific topic. 
um, really groom themselves so that, you know, they're, you know, they're more prepared for the technology and everything that's going on in the classroom. Um, but why do you think that your role is important? Good question. My role is important because many faculty may not realize the work that is involved in creating a podcast or creating a short video. Um, they may not realize the accessibility requirements of posting a Word document or uh, getting videos captioned. They may not realize that they have a tool in their pocket, their smartphone, that could do a whole lot of things other than check email and play Candy Crush. So if someone um, in, in, in this audience um, was looking for some sort of support in what they do, maybe it's the business that they run or, um, you know, just their day-to-day -day life um, or professional career, what would they reach out to you for? What kind of uh, service or um, uh, expertise would you say that you have that you could offer? Well, I started out with Apple, so I have a real strong background in Apple products. I do work a lot with mobile devices so that if someone wants to do, let's say, record notes during a meeting, I want to show them how to record audio at the same time, take notes, recommend applications mm -hmm. that would combine the two. I would work with people to create video projects on the go. Uh, mm -hmm. Right now I'm working with 360 video and um, I'm trying to get into VR just because that's a, lot, that's a request that our faculty are asking for. I do take more of the advanced questions too, like um, I'm working with another department here at the college and they're flipping their training and they want to do green screen video, to which I said, yes, let's go for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So basically what you're saying is people that need help with learning how to use different technologies, want to boost their, their training techniques with, um, you know, some of the newer training technologies like virtual reality or something like that, um, that you're, you're the go-to guy for that. Yep. Awesome. And, uh, being here in higher education, there's a lot of focus on accessibility, so I've been training up my own skill set to talk about accessibility with our electronic document, PDF, PowerPoint, Word documents what we put up online with our audio recordings and with our video recordings and try to find the best way to get people to become more aware and have them practice accessible technique whenever they create something. So, so everyone, you know, uh, we're coming to the close of our time, um, but what we will do for you is we will post um, Alan's Twitter handle um, as well as his LinkedIn profile link um, so you guys can chat with him offline um, and connect with him separately. Thank you so much, Alan, for meeting with us today and um, chatting about your background and everything. Um, you are an inspiration. Oh, thanks. It was a pleasure. Yes, absolutely. Thank you very much.